Hello everybody, it's Steve. Welcome Space back to Time. Surviving Mars. We just finished up the Omega Telescope, so we wound it back just a little bit uh, between the last video and now. So I dropped that save in and just got the reminder that we'd finished that up. We're doing Vocation Oriented Society right now. Then we're going to go to Water Conservation System to reduce our water intake. Domeless Farming to give us the domes. And I'm going to do Terraforming Subsidies and then Lake Vaporators. I want to get a little bit of extra cash coming my way. We're currently producing... Eh, about 4,000 research. We've got a bunch of genius colonists, and I think I need to bring down some more colonists, or I need to get this dome up and running. Problem is, I only have 20 polymers. I need to get that going as well. I've got 23 vacant residential slots. So yeah, you know what? Actually, I think... Uh-oh. This guy broke. That's going to be helpful for me in the long term. Uh, let's see here. Science is good, but let's actually do some filtering now, because... No geniuses, unfortunately. Go back, go into the flaws. I'm actually okay with a lot of these. I know chronic conditions are always bad, have contract always bad, so that's why I'm leaving these ones out. Um, I'm thinking that more scientists would be good to bring up. So we've got a scientist here. Medic, scientist. Rugged. Let's go ahead and get rid of that one. Rugged's a good one to get. Definitely no. Definitely not. There we go. Alright, so we got 22 more people coming up. We'll launch that. And if I need to, I can build another apartment complex right down here. Probably where it is. Let's see. This building... Actually, oh, wait a minute. What the hell's wrong with me? Um... I'm going to take all my polymers, but I can definitely use them. And this building, we, we can actually open a second shift on it to get more people working. So we got our, and this uh, science officer, he can go work somewhere else. We'll get a scientist to come in here, and we'll fill up this uh, building with some scientists as well. We're going to start making this work. So we've got ESO Corp or ESO Corp, whatever it is. They've been on the ground for about five days now. I have most of the electronics that I need for this. At the same time, I'm gonna need to keep a lot of my electronics on standby for when these guys, mm, I don't wanna say when they go HAL 9000, because that's not exactly what they're gonna do. Uh, oh yeah, also discovered the most BS thing. I got some core deposits. I'm gonna go ahead and scan all of these little keys. And then We'll scan all the keys, we'll scan the eyeball, and then we'll get the flat research as well. Because I know the keys will unlock more things down this way, so we'll get like a terraforming thing, a biotech thing, and a social thing to finish that off. So this is Project Morpheus. Geoscape Dome, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, Geoscape Dome, and there's one other one, I can't remember what it is in the biotech field. But we're going to get those unlocked here this episode, and then we'll most likely go for... Don't get me wrong, Molehole Mine is a great wonder to get, but I do think that getting other... Wow, that was fast. Uh, let's go ahead and change the skin on that. That's right, I got plasma rockets. That's why it's uh, going so quickly. I'm going to open that up, give some extra gerbs. New colonists have arrived. Wait a minute. Okay, so we have STEM reconstruction. So we do have seniors still in the workforce. This one's almost done. Research complete. Anomaly. There's more to the dream reality and planetary projects. This is unlock seed vegetation and cloud seeding. Okay, that, that's good. I'm not going to do the cloud um, seed vegetation at all. Reason being is that I want to on my own. I want to naturally get the seeds in my area up to 40% on its own. The reason for that is you can't go more than 40% with what you have. Go ahead and also add polymer blades onto this one. Everybody else has polymer blades, so we're good on that front. And we're starting with a slight deficit at or during, looks like this is the second shift. Sector scanned. Ooh. Oh, wow, two more keys. So if I'm not mistaken, if all of the texts have been revealed by the time you start scanning these keys, you just get flat research. So this is a good thing to get in the late game. If you're burning through the research like I am, Anomaly you can go ahead and just save those and they'll go ahead and do their own thing. 
Um, you're gonna go scan another key. There's more to the Baron and holographic scanning, and this one gives me the space mirror and magnetic shield. Oh, birth. Oh man, how did I forget about that one? So we got increasing birth rates in the medical centers, and also launching the space mirror and the magnetic shields. I know. If you go back in this, sorry, one more time. I got four left in here, so we'll have Geoscape Dome, uh, Core Heat Convector, and there's two others. I can't remember what they are, but I think the top one is like sixty thousand research to get to. So we'll scan these four. We'll get those or five, excuse me. We'll get them all uh, figured out, and we'll go from there. Before I go any further, um, there is something very serious that I do want to talk about. Oh, what? You, seriously, you dropped one right here? Dick. Crap, he's got one right next to the colony now. I saw him come in. Um, the wildfires on the west coast of the United States. Um, a lot of people know that California is on fire. There's fires all around California. There's a lot of fires in Oregon and Washington as well. A uh, report that I read Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening, stated that about... 10% of Oregon's population, about a half million people, have been evacuated and displaced due to the fires. I'm going to be putting some links in the description of this video and videos for the next few days. They're just going to be pinned up there of some resources if you want to help out those impacted by the West Coast wildfires. Oregon, um, I haven't lived there. My brother lived there for some time. My dad had family there for a very long time. And he mentioned earlier in the week, uh, this past week now, I'm just going to put a pause in to finish this off. Um, he mentioned uh, that one of the schools that he went to growing up and one of the towns he and my, and my family lived in has been completely destroyed. Not as in, oh, a little bit of fire. The entire town is gone. It's just roadways and sidewalks left. So I'm going to be putting some links in for that. And hopefully if you've got the ability to do so, if you can help out, please, it's greatly appreciated on that front. Um, with the pandemic going on, I know everybody's it's it's tight for everybody, but if you can help out, that's the real important thing. There's more to the Baron oh, core heat convector and localized terraforming. So the core heat convector, that's what I was talking about. Now, speaking of, I actually got a text message from my dad as I was recording this. So her core heat convector, and there's the geoscape dome. We only got two things left to uncover. The core heat convector is awesome. Uh, this consumes water. It's a very big machine, but it's also a massive... Uh, I want to get there. It's a massive subsurface heater. So I could research this. It'll take 10 souls to research just at my current rate, because I've got 4817. This is 40,000. And this will pretty much act as a subsurface heater. I could put it right here, and it would heat most of the entire colony. Crap, a second one can't. So I've got two down, two on the low ground, two on the high ground, one on the low ground. Well, let's go ahead and scan that guy. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and turn this one on. You are fully... Is this thing full? Good lord. Oh, we've also cleared everything up uh, over here. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put a metals depot, a big metal storage, I should say. Yes, oh wait, I put it on this side. That's why I did it. Yeah, that's why I did it. Okay, so now we got full water. Nuclear terraforming, that's what it was. Uh, sorry, that one. Nuke the polar ice caps. Causes a dust storm, kicks up the water on the planet. And then also uh, terraforming amplification, which makes all... It pretty much just gives them the amplifiability, same as what we have for factory amplification. We're in domeless farming right now. I'm going to add core heat conve... Uh, no. I'm going to do a rejuvenate crap. Which one do I want to do next? Hmm. Capture ice asteroids is always good. Definitely need that. Let's do growth stimulators. And yeah, lake crafting. This is a good mix, I think, for right now for me. 
Got a fourth one that dropped in. He's on the low ground also. Uh, you're going to go scan this guy. And I do want to get Domo's farming up and running because a nice open farm right here... Even if it's just producing seed crops, that's awesome. Seriously, go the hell away. They've now got five Mars side. And I think this guy will actually get whacked first. I'm going to pull this guy back. So we've got three on the low ground, two on the high ground for the moment. They can't jump as far as I know, unless they patch that. If they patched it, I'm in a lot more trouble than I thought. But I'm going to go ahead and, as soon as it's available, go for the next thing that's going to let me do a ton of work. I have six people unemployed. It's not bad. Do I have an idiot down here? Mark specialization. Sector scanned. Okay, we've got a notification here. I'm just trying to find... Okay, this person is an idiot. Literally. We detect and monitor four more objects as they parachute down and make landfall. Every one of them bearing a resemblance to Object 6EZ3. ESO Corp is totally silent about the second batch of what we believe to be some sort of surveying rovers. More colonists have witnessed the landings and are openly concerned about what they perceive to be an invasion. And yeah, we do need answers. This person, though, I need to put her somewhere else. Um, <clears throat> Let's go ahead and open up the electronics store again. Yeah, this thing malfunctioning is a problem. Maybe I could assign her to the outside ranch. She could, could an idiot cause a malfunction on an outside ranch? Asking for a friend. Um, I could put another... Well, I can't put it here. Oh, wait. It's going to be here. Thought is to put another polymer factory down, but what is this dome looking at? Three unemployed, two unemployed? Oh, perfect. We can actually put this right where it needs to be. Oh, wait a minute. This running on one shift? Two shift. Hey, look at that. Solved the problem. Didn't need to build another building. Uh, how is this working? All right, 321 here. And also, we're getting flat research now, so let's go ahead and scan the eye. And then we'll scan those two keys to get a little more flat research. Let me run on a heavy load. Hmm. One of these guys has a ton of available drones. 11. I'm going to reallocate this a little bit. One, two, three, four. Hmm. I got one over here too, right? Yeah, this one only has three. That's okay. Do I need this one? Hmm. Hopefully these shuttles, which I'm starting to get a good deal of fuel back. Yeah, they're not even Sector pulling that scanned. stuff. Nicely, when I get all this low ground stuff scanned, I can just scan all this stuff real quick. Heck, there could be a research site right there. Hmm. I'm trying to see if it's going to make sense to actually start working on the Omega Telescope. Oh, putting it right there would be nice. No, oh, anomaly. We discovered unusual crystals in the remains of a meteorite. The magnified <clears throat> images of their crystalline matrix were broadcast by every major news channel on Earth. I've gotten this one a few times before. This is a good one to get. Gets me 400, flat, uh, 400 million flat. Okay, and now we got another message from Esocorp, or Esocorp. Esocorp stopped giving us the silent treatment. But it's clear from their message they're not going to answer our questions. They propose a deal. We fix one of their malfunctioning rovers, and they provide a generous, as they put it, funding injection. The legal team also warned that any mission should be strictly for repairs, and further inspection of the vehicle will be taken as an illegal act. In other words, if we wish, we can send drones to fix their rover, but nothing that can evaluate its purpose, like a rover, and will be paid for the effort. Malfunctioning rovers can now be repaired via drones. Okay. If I can get the rest of these guys to... It, it, I kind of wish the one that was up here, one of the two on the high ground, if one of those malfunctioned, I'd be okay with it. The fact it's one that's way the hell down here, I don't like that. I want the one that's not working to be close by.
What she got here? 30 and 30. And we'll send you back. And that one I am allowing uh, return trips to Earth. Okay, I'm going to put this... Two on that side, three on that side. Dang it. I can't actually center this one properly. Oh, there I can. One, two, one, two, one, two. I like that. And it's just outside of the range of this of this uh, drone hub. Yeah, barely. Hmm. Could put a hub right here. I was going to send up a hundred more. It'll get us most of the way there. Getting that guy down here. Yeah, big disparity in power during the day. Let's go scan these keys. Got no food concerns right now. We do have a little bit of unemployment. That's okay. I can turn this art store on, but it's going to consume what I need. You know what? I'll put the Logi Lab 24-7, because we're getting a boost on this. Funding received. That's getting a boost, too. Got a little bit of a cash injection there. So wait a second, do I have drone printing available yet? That was... Battery optimization, that gets knocked out in a heartbeat. Mm, no. Do not have the drone printing yet. Okay. No oh, wait, I do have the drone printing, what the hell's wrong with me? It's not that I don't have it, so I just haven't done anything with it. Um, with the Omega Telescope, there are two texts that are essentially must-gets, and one that's on the wish. And that's pretty much like what I need. I need I'm, extractor AI is a must, and printable electronics. Um, it's a rare one to get. I think I've only gotten it one time. Let's go ahead and see if this is available for me. Yeah, right there is perfect. Sector scanned. Anomaly found. Okay, I'm gonna do this. So this thing will clear it out, and I'll start doing that stuff. What did I find? Another key. Seriously, another key. Wow, was a. All right, where are we going here? Are you in terraforming subsidies? It's going to give us a flat billion. Uh, lake vaporators. You know what? I'm going to go for... Hmm. It's a lot of polymers. I'm trying to figure out what the, what the proper next step should be. Um, mole hole mine, obviously good. Um... Artificial Sun gives us unlimited power. Project Morpheus. Ah, oh, here we go. I don't have the scrubbers. What's wrong with me? That's exactly what I need next. So, this drone hub is going to need some stuff peeled off of it. Thankfully, there's nearby drones who can do the work. But what I'll essentially do is I'm just going to use this to build seed crops. And then, where is my... Oh, there's my forestation plant. There's one there. I can queue one up way over here. In fact, let's go ahead and get that going. Reason for that is... So I can... When I start putting down the seeds and whatnot. I just, I don't have a lot of overlap with them. Did I seriously mess that up? Why was that off by a hex? 
You need seeds. Hmm. So. I shouldn't have built this, actually. What I essentially need to get is cover crops. And I need 30% temperature, 15% water. So, looks like I'm going for some water next. There we go. Research complete. Go ahead and get that real quick. And that sector is going to get scanned almost instantaneously because there is a sensor tower right on top of it. Basically, this section's fine. Uh, there's pl uh, I'd say plenty of fuel, but there's not. And it's not fuel, it's water. Oh wow, they emptied it on their own. Good for them. Alright. Only thing we can do is capture meteors. Not up for that right now. So I have an open farm, and I derped. I should have actually done other things first. Plus side is, I learned from it, and hopefully you will too, so you don't make the same mistake I did here. Um, wow, oh my god, 2400 genius colonists? I'm loving this. My polymer production. Okay. The electronics and the concrete and the mall and this all slowly arriving. Let's actually do this though. No, 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 no. And I wanna have ten here. The shuttles will go ahead and they'll deliver what I need. Sector scanned. And they'll just keep bringing it over there until it's finished. Or I ran out of electronics, whichever comes first. I've got 50 rare metals available. I could allow the export, get another 600 million. I could just send them back. I've got 2.4 bill right now, and I'm getting, I'm getting 660 million per. So it would take three trips, three full rockets to get 100 electronics. Uh, not sure that's a great deal or not, but just want to make sure you're aware of what I'm working with. Eloji left. Really? Martian born. I'm just going to shut that dome down. This isn't bad. This is fine. It's just heavy because the drones are always occupied. Where you at? I'm gonna turn you off auto. Come here, grab a bunch of metal. I'm gonna move a bunch of metal off of this guy down to here because we need a project. I should have done this. Should have been doing this the whole time. And then this drone just went, came by, scanned it, and then left, or dropped it off and left. Sometimes I don't understand how the game does this stuff. Weird. Alright. But this forestation plant, I'm not going to be able to bring online just because I only have three seeds right now. And I'm only producing them right here. I'm only producing this one hydroponic farm. I could build a farm farm to actually do it. At the same time, it doesn't really do much for what I need. Corey Convector. Here we go. We got lake crafting coming up. So I can start building some massive lakes. But, same time, I'm not going to be hooking them up to the grid just yet.
It also doesn't help. Like, oh, wait, there it is. Yeah, I can't see this drone hub's radius because it's down in the low spot that I didn't terraform before I built it. Research complete. All right, we got late crafting available. So now, if I go into here, I'm gonna do a huge lake. It's gonna cost 50 concrete, five machine parts, and it's like 0 0.1%, 0 0.05, 0 0.03, 0 0.01. So you can do these little itty bitty tiny lakes, or you can just go balls to the wall with it. Um, let's actually go balls to the wall here. You have a range that goes all the way up to Neil. Let's go ahead and get a design I like. I don't like that one. I kind of want to build it. You kind of want to tuck it down here, but I can't. Um, let's go see what other designs I got. I got this type of one here. Okay. Gotta tuck it right on the corner there. Go this way. Turn to this. Not even terrain. So if I clear this area out, I'm going to get my dozer down here. I'm going to do a flattened project. Um, make this as big as I can. Out of bounds. Actually, I think it's the first time I've ever had an out of bounds message when I'm trying to terraform stuff. I just want to flatten that. And I'll just put a big lake here in the corner. I'll still have access to this one. I'll make sure of that. Yeah, let's actually go back out to the map because I heard a... Ooh, we got a breakthrough. Must scan. All right, we're almost done scanning all the all of the habitable sectors on the map. Uh, once we get down these nine, we'll just finish off scanning this stuff and we'll be done. And there is, of course, a... Ooh. Okay, diminishing returns on the SETI satellite. So it's 1.5 billion... This cost me 30 electronics. Could do it. Almost seems like I need more jobs. Meteor incoming. Show me. Bye bye. I got two MDS lasers. And man, they do their gerb. Alright. Breakthrough. Wish list for Omega Telescope. Get back to that. No, I mentioned already. Extractor AI, printed electronics. Printed electronics lets us build drones with metals instead of electronics. That's a huge boost for us. And of course, Extractor AI, I, I win the game. It's a, it's a guaranteed win. There's that busted ESO Corp or ESO Corp rover. I'm not going to go fix it. I think you actually have to fix them to advance the mystery. But at the same time, I can just keep, just keep them kind of spinning around here. Breakthrough discovered. Ooh, this is a new one. Newly grown forests have a chance to spawn vistas and research sites. I don't believe I've seen this one. I played as a terraforming initiative. I've done, I think, three or four playthroughs on Green Planet. I don't think I've seen this one before. So we'll add that in too. And we'll do adaptive vegetation as well. the interplanetary projects and then I guess I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for the carbonate processor it's gonna take a bunch of it's gonna take a bunch of my waste rock and convert it into thickening the atmosphere you come down here let's scan more stuff mm -mm. one second don't scan stuff I want to make sure if I want to if I'm gonna be spending my research these um research boosts i want to make sure it's stuff that's actually i mean growth stimulators is nine thousand. triple electric scrubber yeah i could probably use that but in a planetary project side force station ten thousand combined that's that's two and a half days i'm not going to spend my i'm not going to spend those boosts on that as soon as i can get let's see okay hasn't warmed up or gotten wet enough for grass they load there. This one's slowly being built. If I put this as a high priority, I think it would get a little easier to get done. Yep. 
Pretty sure it's the right spot. Yeah. Go ahead and make this a higher priority. Sector scanned. Okay, dust storm's coming in, so forestation plants are offline, and I think this is actually a pretty good spot to put in a cut. Um, three of the Isocorp. Damn it, we got a message. People who aim for perfection learn soon enough that it's a moving target. Guess Isocorp didn't aim high enough. Isocorp is having obvious issues with their mysterious rovers, as they seem to be malfunctioning one after the other. Instead of admitting the faults in their predictions about the rough Martian conditions, the ESOCorp team has sent us a message which, quote, gives the Martian colony command the rare privilege of sending one of our more analytical vehicles to look into most certainly a small mis into the most certainly small miscalculation that causes these temporary annoyances, end quote. Furthermore, they go on to remind us that, by choosing to analyze their broken vehicles, we have an understanding not to dig beyond any obvious logistical shortcomings in their design, and agree to full and utter discretion. We have an anomaly that has appeared next to a malfunctioned vehicle. It is on the high ground, too. And I have a missing rover. That's weird. All right. Um, the monitor shows only static as the rover's GPS tracker shows an error message. We have lost contact with one of our rovers, RC Explorer 1. Oddly enough, that's the high ground one. We believe the storm is caused. The problem is caused by the dust storm, and hopefully, we'll be able to locate it easily once the storm is over. So we can wait. We can't wait. We'll send out the drones to search for it. If we have a shuttle hub, which we do, we'll send out shuttles to search for the rover despite the storm. And if we have six sensor towers, we have seven actually. Uh, we can use our sensor towers to triangulate the signal. If you don't have these options, your pretty options are: we can't wait, or there's no reason to worry. I'll use the sensor towers to try to find this thing. No, oh, that's a problem. I'd like to know where that thing is, because I was going to use it, but I think it's going to have to wait until next weekend. Um, yay! Our large oxygen tank is producing. We're getting all the stuff we need for the telescope. We've got all the stuff we need Mars side, for the concrete and the metals, the electronics. We're going to have to import a little bit more. We only have about 70 left. Vegetation's now growing a little bit faster, so we're going to start working on turboelectric scrubbing, then on to the design forestation, our new breakthrough interplanetary projects, and the carbonate processor, which is going to start thickening up the Martian atmosphere. Next video, we're probably going to locate where that missing rover decided to go to. We'll figure out what's going on with ESOCorp. We'll get through this dust storm and continue this mystery. Probably going to start going for the Megadome as well. But for now, like, comment, and subscribe. If you enjoy the videos that come out on this channel, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.